Knight St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This afternoon, about just after 2 p.m., I received a telephone call from my client, Adriana King. She informed me that black squad policemen were at her home, that they came to arrest her on some inquiry. She had no idea what the inquiry was about. She was alone at home with her six-year-old daughter. That did not faze them. They arrested her. She had to take her child to a family member and took her to the Kingstown Police Station. Simultaneously, the police met Kenson King on the road. This time, um, SSU met him on the road and arrested him and took him to the Kittles Police Station. On inquiry, when I called, um, I was told that it has something to do with incitement. I am absolutely sure that this is another phase in the harassment of the NDP personnel and other persons who have been organizing protests against the government. We will not stand for it. I have been trying to reach the head of CID, Mr. Claston Francis. I have called him several times. He has not returned my call. I have messaged him. He has not returned my message. I am a very senior lawyer in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And if I call the head of CID concerning my clients who they have arrested, I expect him to return my call. St. Vincent has a strange justice system right now. There seems to be two sides to the face of justice. I am not aware that Ashel Morgan was ever arrested. To date, even though she had to answer a charge, they never arrested her. Police has never turned up at her house to search for any gun or firearm or otherwise. But we had last weekend police turning up at the homes of other NDP persons, including the same Kenson and Adriana, to search for firearm. We will not tolerate this type of two-sided justice in St. Vincent. My clients are innocent. They have not committed any act. This is an ongoing saga to intimidate persons who have been lawfully organizing demonstrations against this wicked ULP regime. It seems now that the police is being used as a weapon against the people. I warn the Commissioner of Police that they took an oath. They took an oath to defend and protect all the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, of which Kenson King and Adriana King is one. We will not have two-sided justice in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I call for their immediate release because this is not a police state. Thank you. Good night.